Hi everyone and welcome back to Outback Pollux. And I'm in front of my computer, which probably means it's time for another Polonia Polish Club Milton update. Uh, it's been a month since the coup where we took over, uh, took back our club, um, and I thought it would be time for us to do a quick update on what actually has been happening. First of all, I want to thank everyone uh, for all your support. The uh, buy me a coffee donations, thank you so much. They do really help us. Thank you to all of our subscribers, messages, text messages, phone calls, and emails. I read every single one of them and I do reply. Uh, again, subscribe, like, and share to stay up to date with all of our vlogs and videos. So a couple of days ago, the Polish club had the 3rd of May celebrations at its uh, venue. And it's the first time the new committee has been able to run a successful event. Uh, now, unfortunately, it wasn't all good news because they've released a statement relating to the current financial status of Polonia. And uh, it, it is really hard to read due to the amount of debt that is actually there. In my previous video, when we did take over the club, I did say, um, well, I was told uh, by the previous committee members um, and the previous vice president and, and, some, and some financial people as well, that the club is actually not in such a bad financial situation. It seemed that it wasn't true. It was probably hidden from uh, the people that were in support of a new committee. So I'll get straight into it. A um, couple updates before that. Genek, the president that was voted in, uh, has stepped down. Uh, so thank you, thank you, Genek, for, for stepping up uh, during um, the voting time. And uh, Valdek is now the current president. So the new committee has been hard at work to make sense of what is happening. And they've released a statement. So let's get straight into it. Uh, as usually, the statement is here. So have a read of it. Pause the video if you want to read in more detail. I'm not going to cover everything. Um, and also, I'll see if I can find the link to the statement and post it in the um, description, as usually. Now, the first couple of uh, sections just talks about uh, the Polish community, so I won't get into that. Um, obviously, the, the current committee has struggled to make sense of the financial records, especially since the outgoing president, Alice Langford, has not provided a decent handover. Uh, surprise, surprise. Um, and also that they've lost a lot of financial data, including a computer has been reported missing. So very interesting situation there. Uh, and these are the financial facts. So I'll just read them as of 31st of March. So already they're a month old. As of 2019-20, $188,000 loss. And as of 2021, $125,000 loss and still growing. One of the key reasons is $122,000 spent on legal fees in the previous financial year. Uh, 88, sorry, by the committee, $88,000 for the previous financial year and $34,000 for the current financial year. This is the amount we have been able to identify so far. None of the legal fees uh, advice is held on file at Polonia, so it can only be assumed that it is in the possession of the previous committee. So I guess... The, the fees were paid by Polonia, so we need to reach out to these solicitors and find out what this exactly was about. But what a waste of money. Polish people wouldn't have argued like this. We could have sorted this out be, be behind closed doors with a mediation or, a, or, or, or someone employed to help us mitigate all these problems that have occurred, especially the lawsuits and all these sort of things. This could have been solved so easily, but they've decided to waste our money. Uh, based on some of the in, uh, invoices issued to Polonia, these are the breakdown of the fees. Changing of the Polonia constitution, changing of Polonia to a company, not answerable to membership, directors can be paid fees. Changing Polonia to a charitable trust, not answerable to the membership and trustees, can be paid fees. And seeking possible legal action against various members of Polonia in connection with the attempted AGM in 2019. And nothing's been done about that since. So it's a waste of money. But all these other charges are exactly what I was predicting was going to happen. That they would be trying to basically change Polonia so members could not have any rights to vote on what was happening with the club. I wonder why. Perhaps the club was going to be put up on sale. Right, so... Outstanding bills. This is interesting as well. ATO is, over, uh, is uh, overdue by $30,000, overdue rates of $21,000, and a six-month term high interest loan of $150,000, established by the previous committee through a private finance company, which is due to be repaid in full 
on 5th of September 2021. In other words, during just four months, this loan is extremely concerning as it includes a clause which states that if the full amount is not repaid by the due date, when the Milton property, then the Milton property must be immediately listed for auction and sold within eight weeks. So if the previous committee really trusted the, the fact that the club could have made money and, and the fact that they were posting things that, you know, we need to work together to make money, blah, 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 blah. Why would you take out a six term uh, loan for it not to be able to be repaid? No way the club can raise $150,000 uh, to be repaid within a few months. Uh, especially during the COVID pandemic. It's ridiculous. What was their agenda? Uh, the bank accounts are also really bad. 2017-18 uh, is $191,000 and now currently at $52,000, which is the information that I was given at the, at the, um, at the meeting. But there was said, they said, look, it's, it's not a bad situation. We've got $52,000. It is a bad situation. There's $150,000 owing plus another, another $51,000 in overdue fees and, and, and anything on top of that that is coming. So whoa, this is really bad. When I was as a committee member, um, Polonia funds were very, very healthy. There was over $200,000 in, uh, in, in term deposits that were able to be used. So they've drained the bank, literally. And they have started draining the bank a long time before the pandemic. <clears throat> Polonia is losing money weekly through the restaurant and bar operations due to poor turnover. This is partly due to COVID-19, but also due to the previous committee's slow response to reopening Polonia to the public once lockdown has ended and failure to organize any events for members and the wider community other than the occasional market. On our calculations, a turnover of 7200 per week is needed to break even. At the moment, the club is turning over $4,100. Restaurant, bar and events must immediately increase on an ongoing basis if Polonia is to be viable into the future. There have been a number of uh, mistakes in accurately calculating GST and superannuation payable to staff over the last few years. As a result, the ATO is still owed $30,000. In early May 2021, the new committee will prepare financial statements and a more detailed cash flow analysis and provide a further report to members. We want to keep you informed as the progress of Polonia financial records, uh, sorry, financial position over the next few months is mission critical. And I agree with that. Please stay open and transparent. Make sure people are aware of what's going on so we can help. The shocking truth is that we desperately need to find the means to save Polonia. Polonia needs urgent help from members and the wider community in the form of donations, increased use of the restaurant and bar, and increased use of the club as an event and party venue. It also needs an additional $200,000 urgently to pay off the $150,000 loan and supplement its cash reserves for outstanding bills and ongoing operation costs. Uh, so then it talks about that our seniors built this club and the new generation needs to start helping out for the next generation. And I agree with that. The whole reason why I'm doing this is so Lumi uh, can basically enjoy the club and its wonderful restaurant and events and everything like that for the next generation and I want to go with her and party hard. Maybe she can be the resident DJ and I can finally sit down and have a rest. This is what the club is about. It's meant to bring us and our families together and to, to have fun and enjoy ourselves and enjoy all the Polish culture and traditions of it. So we need to really help. It is time that time of the year when members are due to renew their annual commitment, uh, but we cannot increase membership fees without a meeting. And you don't need to increase membership fees. I think the fees need to stay exactly the same. We just need more members. It's not about increasing membership fees. What are you going to increase them to? $1,000? Uh, there's no need for that. I think the more members we have, the better we have a chance of actually getting people into the club and eating and drinking and having fun and partying. And this way we can raise the money and awareness of the club. We need to restore it to what it was previously. Uh, we seek your contribution to help bring Polonia to a financial stable position or a stable position. Over time, this would be possible by conducting various activities such as dances, fairs, concerts. However, we do not have time. I disagree. I think we do have time to run uh, events and um, dances and parties and all these sort of things. We do have time. We can do one straight away and everyone can come over and donate as much as they can, spend money at the bar, uh, buy alcohol, buy food, all these sort of things. If everyone starts coming in and we run an event maybe fortnightly until the end of August, we will pay this off. 
but we need to get onto it now. When you say we don't have time, we don't have time to analyze what needs to be done. Everything needs to be done. Every possible um, aspect of this has to be done. Otherwise, we don't have a club. By early August this year, we must find $200,000 to avoid Polonia being taken over by the finance companies. Uh, the committee has been searching for ways of financing a realistic loan, but uh, obviously due to the poor financial situation, it's, going, it's getting hard. So it says here, <clears throat> imagine we only need 200 individuals or families each willing to donate $1,000 or more, and we could reach $200,000, which would pay off the outstanding debts and have inherited from the, uh, that was inherited from the previous committee. Yes, but let's not talk about 200 people. Let's talk about 2,000 people. There are over 2,000 Polish people here in Brisbane, and they have all six friends amongst them that turns into 12,000 people. If everyone just simply provided a little bit of money, uh, we, we would get there really, really fast. You don't need 200 individuals to donate $1,000. You need 2,000 individuals to donate $100. You need 20,000 individuals to donate $10. And it's not hard to do. There's plenty of people in Brisbane and we can raise this money easily with the right communication and social media posts. We can do this. Um, the next page basically talks about the uh, how to donate the money uh, and it gives bank details and all these sort of things which I'll post in the, um, in the description of this blog but I'll make this even easier. I'm going to donate $100 myself straight away. Um, if you want to help me, I have four and a half thousand subscribers. I've got a massive network of people to go and to buy me a coffee, which is the link below. When you buy me a coffee, type in the message, The Polish Club. I will donate every penny from that account to Polonia as well. Wherever you're watching this, whether you're interstate or overseas, help out. Start with three dollars, go up to a hundred, go up to a thousand, go up to two thousand. It doesn't matter. Every penny will count. Buy me a coffee charges a little bit of a fee, I will match that fee. It doesn't matter to me. Just please help and donate the money and I will put it into the Polish account, um, Polish club account for you. And I'll mention every person's name that donates money. Just put in the message, uh, the Polish club. If you want to be anonymous, be anonymous, but put in the message, the Polish club. Support this cause. I think it's a really great cause. Unfortunately, the money that you donate is not tax deductible, but it's okay. It's a hundred bucks. It's three dollars fifty to buy me a coffee. It's okay. We can part with this money to make sure that the club survives and is there for the next generation. I'll also be putting a proposal to the Polish club myself that I'll be sending in. Um, I think there's quite a lot that I can do that I can help out. Um, we've got a wonderful network here in Brisbane of Polish businesses. I think this needs to be tapped uh, to to basically help out not just Brisbane, interstate and international. Um, I have quite a few contacts in internationally as well that I'm sure would be happy to donate a little bit of money, even if it's just $5. Imagine the 4,000 subscribers that I have on my YouTube channels just download, uh, just donated $5. That would be $20,000 that could be just given straight away to the club and maintain its bills. So please, help me out. The link is below um, to buy me a coffee. The link is also below if you want to make direct deposits to Polonia uh, bank account. Send me a message, uh, comment in the comment section below of how you, how you can help out as well and I'll reach out to you. But I think we can do this. We can save the club. We just need to get together. Polish people are strong. We can stick together. Thank you. Subscribe, like and share. Um, make sure you check out our other vlogs as well and, and I'll keep you updated on what's going on. Thanks everyone.